Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Brighton vs Chelsea Fan Back in the Stadium review. I'm going to talk to you about my experience as you do know I attended the game. I'm going to talk to you about what you can slightly expect returning back to stadiums as well. It was a weird thing and I'll also talk to you about that. But guys, anyway, let's get straight down to this. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is better fans back into the stadium. You take that first step in back to the stadium, you're overwhelmed with enjoy. And it's not just that. It's sort of a weird feeling. I'm wondering if you've got to pick up on it when you first return to your stadium. But it's sort of a weird sort of feeling. It's don't go in there expecting it, just walk in there like you normally would and you should roughly get the same feeling I got. But you know, it was as I said a weird feeling. I wanna see if you um do the same. If you do at any point, please feel free to come back to this video and put it down in the comments below. What you can expect from returning. Now there is one problem which I don't get. Because we don't know nothing about this virus at this present in time, I, you know, the hand sanitizers they were pressable. You did have to press them for the, you know, the um, sanitizer to come out to wash your hands. I don't understand that. The way the pandemic's going, I think we should have sensors one. But it was only about, I don't know, maybe about 40. How's that going to work with 30,000 in the stadium? They were in the shop as well, but, you know, yet again, how I go about the 30,000. The other thing you can expect with the one-way system, which we did have, is... So you go up on the left, you come down on the right. If people are coming down to the um, concourse, what else shall I think of, is basically you will be stopped from going back up. So they try to do it, you know, as good as possible but you know it's a weird experience but you know finish 1-1 one, one, so it's okay Chelsea had an offside goal but you know never mind it was as I said a sort of a weird experience if you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying it was nice to be back where do I think this could go everyone's saying it's been a success even the Premier League so you know, fair play from for actually putting this event on. I want to, yeah, again, say thanks to the Premier League, the government, Brighton and Chelsea for putting this event on. It was a big step forward back to fans and back in the Premier League. It was a sort of, you know, weird feeling. There was hand sanitizers outside the ground as you come off, you know, past the train station. There was hand sanitizers in the shop, there was hand, you know, they were basically covered hand sanitizers anyway. Washing the hands yet again, that was a big part to play with the test event. It was, you know, people were washing their hands, which is good to see. It's such a big pandemic that we're going through. I do think it will take us forward with the likes of, you know, how the event's going to work in the future. I do think that the fact of, you know, people following the guidelines, people doing the guidelines, that was a big step forward. Obviously, there's no away fans at this test event. I don't think, I think away fans will be, obviously, I will be back, but I don't think it'll be maybe till 2021. Obviously, it all goes what the government's safe, safe for us to do, so... We need to at least probably get 15,000 home fans back in before we start even thinking about away fans. Also, when we bring away fans back, they've also got to follow the same guidelines. It's going to be an interesting one, put it that way. Um, as I said, there was, you know, one-way system. Fair play for Bright for doing that. The gaps in the seats, it was, you know, very unusual. My dad was four seats away from me instead of, you know, right next to me. But, you know, the new chest event, obviously I'll put the pictures up on the screen while we're going through this anyway. Obviously Ben White played for Brighton. All the aspect that he's had across the leagues and he puts a Brighton shirt on. And the fact he played in number three, 
it was, you know, it's quite a good experience, it's quite funny as well. Um, but, you know, as I said, it's a weird sort of feeling, only 2,500, and a big stadium like that, we've managed to get an atmosphere going, don't ask me how. Obviously, it's thanks to the boys, you know, singing and chanting. The face coverings will only possibly be needed if it's like five minutes to kick off and everyone's rushing to go to the toilet. Half time, possibly, and full time, you know, when you're leaving the stadium. But, you know, the way we did it was face mask while you were in the concourse, face mask while you were walking up to the stadium. Not many people did that, and I can understand why, because there weren't so many people, but you got we're testing it like there was a lot of people. Leaving the stadium, obviously, we had to wear them, and most of the people I saw did have one. So, you know, thanks very much for me as well for, you know, following the guidelines. This was a big step getting fans back into the stadium. As I've said, everyone said it was a big success. So hopefully going forward, maybe, who knows, November, October time, we might be able to get nearly back to full capacity. Fingers crossed. Um, but, you know, it is a good event. I do like how Brighton dealt with it. So yet again, thank you for Brighton, Chelsea, the government for letting us put on this test event. Obviously we will go down in the history books. The Amex Stadium will anyway, not just, not me personally, but the Amex will for the first ever football test event back in England for, you know, getting the fans back. We have got another couple of friendlies coming up. I'm not sure the next one where spectators will be allowed, but if there is another one, spectators will be allowed for the league games. I will try and get tickets, I will put it on a video as well to let you know that I am going. And yet again, if you want, I'll give you my review. But yeah, as I said, it's just nice to be back in the stadium. Fair play for Brighton and Chelsea for putting the event on. Obviously, yeah, we did have a lot of Chelsea players, you know, um, in quarantine, apparently to you know, use papers, but that's the Chelsea players, sure it's not Chelsea, you know, if the players want to go abroad then we did see Tom Avena who scored their goal, but you know, it's just nice to be back in the, to the football stadium and hopefully before before long we should be back to full capacity. But anyway guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys, give it a big comment if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.